Hi, this is Mary Jade and Jeff with Terrain 4x4 Adventures. We are in the beautiful state of Utah. As you can see, there is still some snow in the mountains. And we are headed over to Overland Gear Guy today. We're almost in June and there's still a ton of snow up there. It's crazy. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna go um, check out Rob's shop at Overland Gear Guy. Those of you who've been watching our channel know that we love his products built with great quality custom made for our Mercedes Benz Sprinter van we've been utilizing a variety of different products from him uh, over the past several months and uh, thought we'd come out and take you on a bit of a tour I want to know Rob's story how he got into this business and check out his operation so come along and uh, let's see what he's got Cool, we made it. You ready, Jeff? Let's check this out. All right. Our first time here. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. Whoa, there he is. Look at all this. <laughs> well, hi. Hey, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> so nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, man. The man, the yeah. myth, the legend. Wow. Live and in person. Yeah, Look at so this. Cool. How was the flight? Flight was awesome. Yeah. 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 What, like an hour and a half? It's yeah. So yeah, so yeah. short. Wow. Look at all this stuff. All right. So we, we want to hear your story. How'd you get into this? Give us a quick tour. Go all the way back? All the way back. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So after 16 years in law enforcement, I had a need for a vest, so you go out to the range and, and uh, you know, do some shooting and stuff. And it's like, I get out there and every time I have to go back and, and get more ammo or more whatever. And it's like, this is stupid, so I made up a vest. And it's like, okay. So I you took, made up a vest like yeah. in your garage? Yeah, yeah. Well, no, in the kitchen. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So took it to a supply house in Portland, Oregon, police supply house. And uh, I said, what do you guys think? I said, well, I said, switch, put an AR pocket here and a handcuff pocket here. And, and, uh, and let us look at it. So about a week and a half, two weeks later, I walked back in there and I held it up. I said, how many do you want? Kind of looked at me and looked at the vest. And, we'll take 25. I mean, right there on the spot. <laughs> wow. I mean, I had no business. That was, it was just like, boom. So uh, yeah, I just uh, did, did that. And then uh, did a lot of like SWAT stuff, EOD, uh, um, you know, bomb squad stuff over the years. And then, uh, 9-11 happened and pretty much all that stuff went to safety reflective vest, the high visibility stuff. And then Katrina happened and then that, that amplified stuff. And then, uh, and then like four-ish years ago, a little better, um, got into the overlanding stuff. Wow. I uh, met a guy in Moab that had a, had a Sprinter van and it's like, Opportunity this here. is cool. Well, I mean, I, I just thought it was cool because I had a trailer uh -huh. and it's like, this is cool. And then he said, hey, can you make me a... Uh, like a seat organizer to, to put all my camera gear in. It's like, oh yeah, I've done seat organizers and stuff. And uh, did that and he says, hey, I'm going to Overland East in uh, North Carolina. He says, want to meet me back there? We'll hang out and yeah, I don't know what the overlanding means. I don't even know what that is. And uh, so went back there and I mean, within minutes, I already make stuff like this just for a different application, maybe, you know, fire or whatever. And I'm like, oh, I make these. And, oh, I can make these in all these different colors. So, got the name, name uh, of the website, the social media is right there. Within a week, we had products on the, uh, the website. Now, I think we have like 350 products. Wow. Multiple oh. sizes, dozens wow. of colors of each, and yeah. Wow. Here. So, here how long ago was that? 1990, so 32 and a half years ago. Wow. <laughs> but when you, when you first started doing the Sprinter Dance stuff? Oh, like uh, four-ish years ago. Wow, okay. Very cool. One yeah. of the things I love is that um, you seem to be able to make whatever people want. Yeah. It's so interesting just kind of following him. And um, we've got these uh, bins in the back of our van, and he reached out and said, Hey, take some dimensions. I want to make some product for that, and made it fit just like a glove. And then now uh, the most recent item that we haven't even used yet is uh, one of these guys, which oh, is yes. awesome. Oh, yes. So exciting. But uh, Mary Jane's only seen it. Just for a brief moment, our yeah. our van yeah. is in the shop right now, but um, we can't can't wait to get get that out and yeah. try it out. But yeah, check out all this good stuff. 
then we started here, right? With the, the door cubbies, yeah. The door cubbies, that's where we got our start. Uh, yes, our those are great. Thank you. Love yes, all the, I uh, love those. labels that you can I, name everything. So. I'm so organized now. <laughs> it's great. It's well, a lot it, better. It, it, it's fun just solving all those needs and stuff. And like we went to the you know, Overland Expo and, and came up with, well, we, we, we launched the fire pit bag. Uh, the I fire saw pit. That. And that's been going like hotcakes. And then somebody uh, comes up and is like, hey, do you make a bag for the geyser shower i've never seen it so they brought one over and i was like oh yeah i can do that so awesome. i went over to the geyser booth they had an extra one uh, that they sent me back with and uh, made it up and now that's selling like hotcakes so awesome it, it it's, it's fun just you know making yeah exactly yeah, yeah. yeah and everything is sewn here yeah 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 here here and i got some like contract sewers that sew out of their house Oh, wow. So when COVID wow. happened years ago, uh, people said, I don't want to get out, you know, yeah. but I want to sell, I want to work. And I was like, yeah, I don't care. But it's everything made in Utah. Wow. Can so, we yes, see it? Yeah, cool. let's, let's check it out. Awesome. Wow. Cool. Oh, get those sewing machines. Wow. Fire bag. And wow. She's doing a photography vest over there and for the vest. Bag. But yeah, then we uh, wow. down here we got all the where we need to cut. These are heavy duty signs. Oh wow! Yeah, everything. There's the rolls oh. of fabric that we got to choose from, and then there's oh my the, gosh! Uh, yeah. Oh my gosh! <gasps> wow! <laughs> Yep, all the colors. Very cool. Yeah. So what I love about your product, obviously, you could get some stuff cheaper off of Amazon. Oh, yeah. Um, but, you know, just looking at here, we're, yeah. you know, employing local people made in the United States, supporting small business. So don't get it from China. Get it from Rob. Oh, yeah. my gear guy. Yeah. Great stuff. Buy once and cry once. Yeah. This stuff built a lot. Lifetime warranty. So Lifetime you, warranty. you can't go wrong. Yeah. 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 And then it down to like the little little things like what i like the zippers that you use i mean super mm -hmm. smooth and everything and you know if you're going to spend money and have some gear that's going to last a lifetime you don't want to be a hassle with just simple things like that so exactly. great job great meeting yeah, you thanks man thanks for having <laughs> us out <laughs> appreciate you coming out oh what are you doing jeff oh my gosh it's going to work how do you do this Oh, got my finger. <laughs> All right, I'm done. I'm done. Come on, you've well, got ways to go. What are you making anyway? It's a little bit of effort. What are you making? I'm making, I don't know, a pouch. <laughs> a pouch. Okay. Yeah, this is too much for me. Too much? I'll leave it to the pros. Yeah, I think you should leave it to the pros. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so if you're looking at getting your van all dialed in and completely organized, head over to overlandgearguy.com. Check out their awesome product line. And if you want something custom made, reach out to Rob. I'm sure he'd be happy to work with you. I'll leave his contact information in the description. Hope you found this video helpful. And if so, please hit that like button and subscribe.